<laughs> I'm so Asian, drunk on one side. <laughs> She's an actress, an eco-conscious entrepreneur, and the host of Garage Squad. Please welcome Heather Storm. Let's dive right into it. You're a woman in a man's world on Garage Squad. What's on Garage like? Squad and everywhere else, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like taking on that role? Um, well, you know, I see it as a good challenge. Yeah. Um, you know, men and women operate a little differently, as we know. Yes. <laughs> and. Um, in some ways, that's a bonus um, to just kind of get in there and be with a bunch of guys. Simple, we're just talking about cars, we're just getting there, getting the work done. And in some ways, it can be a little bit challenging because it's simple and we're just talking about cars and we're just getting the job done. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I, I really enjoy working with the guys. That's a great group of guys. And um, it, it's fun to kind of show them that, yes, I'm a girl and yes, I can still do it too. You really and, get your hands dirty. And it, oh yeah. I'm just removing the old gasket material so I can put the fuel pump lock off plate on because we decided to go with an electrical fuel pump rather than a mechanical one. I mean, it is, it's exciting and, and just, you know, there's, not, there's no reason that women, women can't do it. Um, we just choose not to many times and in this situation, I chose to go ahead and say, yeah, you know what? That sounds like fun, you know? So that makes sense why we're going with the small block 350 here. Yeah. Looks like you're going in the right direction. What about the transmission? I don't have a trans either. Ooh. It's a lot of problem solving and um, figuring out solutions when parts don't fit and how to get it going and scratching our heads and, hmm. And eventually, we get the car running. She went from a pile to a performer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, let's check this thing out, Joey. All right. First, we started by redoing all the front suspension and the rear suspension with 373 Posi, complete yep. rebuilt, put in. Yeah, and you know we got the 350 small block engine on there. Basically, we took a truck, well, a shell of a truck, and turned it into something that's going to perform like the streetcar of today. Am I right? No. Yeah. And everybody's happy. And you know, I have to say that that's a big um, bonus because it's a good feeling because people have had that car sitting in their garage maybe for 20 years. Maybe it was their late husbands or fathers. And um, there's a lot of emotional component to the show. So yeah, you wouldn't think that, but you know, there's some feel goods in there. I get it. Cars yeah. are like babies, right? As yeah, you said, absolutely. Right? Cars are like family. People name their cars, right? <laughs> they are like family and they represent a freedom and a nostalgia for people that, um, that I think is across the board for everyone worldwide. You also have a podcast. I do. Tell yeah. me about that. Um, I work on a podcast. It's called Man Seeks Adventure. Um, more men. And I have two co-hosts, Brad Fanshaw and Dave Merrick. And we go around and we find all kinds of adventures. We talk a little bit about cars on it because it's kind of a man show. And um, we talk about food, bars, and different things that kind of tips for men and different things they can do. Like when holidays come up, we'll talk about gifts and I can be that voice of reason. Like, <laughs> don't get her the kitchen knife for an anniversary gift. You must have a tagline, cars, bars, or something like <laughs> cars, that. Cars, bars, eats, and adventures. Oh, cool. Yeah, I yeah. love it. So it's a lot of fun. We're on iTunes. Um, we were voted the top 10 in the travel arena just wow. last month, and we were really excited about that. You've really carved a niche for yourself, sort of like the woman in the man's world. Yeah. Or, or, you know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> was that intentional? I'm hanging out with men a lot. It wasn't intentional. There was no master plan for any of that. Um, I think it just was following my interests. Heather, you're also quite the entrepreneur. Mm, and entrepreneur. It, and it involves ecology. Yes, yeah. yes. I studied environmental science. Um, I have wow. a degree um, in environmental science. I focused on water quality and engineering. Um, and I have put that to use, not in the way one might think. <laughs> um, but I have a company called Black Lab, and we specialize in beverages, um, beverage catering, beverage consulting, um, and making specialty cocktails. And we're eco-friendly, and that's kind of how I put that eco-environmentalism mm -hmm. in there. Everything we do um, is aware of the environmental impact that we have as a business. So we recycle our bottles. Um, we use organic ingredients, um, and we just, in general, try to reduce, reuse, recycle, all of those things. Okay, what's the plan for Black Lab? So right now, uh, we do a lot of events, and we have cocktail mixers that we've been developing. Ooh, They're right. called Nature's Buzz. Yes. Hmm, I wonder if you could <laughs> make us some. Um, so this is on our Nature's Buzz menu, and this is called the Blood Orange Buck. That's because blood oranges are in season right now. Okay. Have you seen the inside of a blood orange lately? 
Check this out. Wow. Look at that color. Oh my God, it's like pomegranate. It's beautiful. It is messy though as well. So I already pre-juiced the Great. blood orange juice. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add ginger, fresh ginger, just a couple slices. You wanna do really nice thin slices of ginger. And like you said, these are all organic ingredients. All organic ingredients, and everything is nice and fresh. Um, all of our cocktails at Black Lab are made with fresh ingredients, and so this is how one you can make at home. Um, if you didn't want to make it at home, and you decide it's too complicated, just don't feel like it, you're having a party, you can also order them from us. Uh -huh. So you can call us up and order these mixers and have okay. them delivered to you. Okay. So, But if you want to make it at home, here we go. We start with some fresh ginger. A little bit of rosemary here. Now, do you make like a large batch at home and bottle them? Right, so we have a commercial kitchen, okay. and in our commercial kitchen, we batch this in a liter bottle. So when you purchase mm. them, you get them in a full liter bottle. Okay. So you can make about 13 cocktails with that. Great. Yeah, so we have some fresh ginger, some rosemary. We're gonna go ahead and add lime. three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Put that up, right there. That's the color of my set and logo. <laughs> Honestly, I usually just squeeze line. it in here, but we're going to measure since we're doing it for you. <laughs> it wasn't planned, people. <laughs> no, you also, um, I don't know if cater is the right word, uh, but some big clients. Some big. Yes, we've had some great celebrity clients, and we did Lance Bass's wedding. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Really big wedding. Okay, and some major department stores? Neiman Marcus is a regular client of ours as well, so wow. we do all of their in Beverly Hills and Topanga Canyon. So we're gonna add some fresh lime juice. Okay. You know, people just want fresh ingredients these days. It's all about quality, and that's really where this is at. You know, that's what we, we, we raise the bar literally by making everything fresh and quality and then making it easy with our mixers in order to serve a lot of people quickly. Because who wants to stand in line for an hour at the bar? <laughs> you get there and you want to drink right away, right? But right. What is that? Simple syrup. One-to-one -one ratio, okay. sugar, and water. Really simple, just like it sounds. So you just get some warm water, Add sugar, this is half a cup to half a cup. Mix it together, you gotta have a little sugar in there to offset the citrus of the lime. Mm. So we have fresh ginger, fresh rosemary, lime, simple syrup, and now we're gonna add the blood orange juice. Now I already pre-juiced this because it can be a disaster. I recommend doing this in your sink, in your kitchen where there's lots of water. You can add an ounce of this. Lovely, look at that color, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, now we need to muddle this up really nicely, and I'm gonna be gentle with it because that blood orange is uh, very bright. It can dye your clothes. Okay, that's why it's better to order. That's why I'm wearing this Black apron. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that is why it's better to Buy order. Buy the bottle version. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've mashed that up, we add the most important part, mm. the vodka. Doesn't really matter which <laughs> vodka you use. I happen to have a bottle of this, so I just picked it up. It's the drink of Hollywood, people. So I'll add an ounce and a half. <laughs> you could add bourbon to this as well if you're a whiskey That's guy. That's right. Yeah, this is you, a really great drink with bourbon. Okay. So you want to give me a scoop of ice? Okay. That I can do, people. All right, we're going to put you to work. No, actually, vodka is the best drink because you can put it in your freezer. <laughs> The best part about vodka, here's the thing, it doesn't have any flavor on its own. Exactly. So you can mix it with anything, and whatever it's going to be mixed with is the flavor it's going to take on. So in this case, it's going to be blood oranges, I'm limes, back to I can tell I'm going to be ginger. hooked back on vodka okay. after this. Now we're going to take it. Okay. Now typically a buck okay. is served on the rocks, but I just thought it was classier, you and I having some martinis, you know? She knows us. So, she knows yeah. it, though. It doesn't matter how you serve it. <laughs> All right, so now once it's really nice and cold. Drum roll. <laughs> All right, we you need ready a drum for this? Roll. All right. She's straining. Wow. Look at that oh, color. Oh, look at the color. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my God. So we don't need any of the chunks in there. No. We will just put them right there. Okay, now here's the garnish part. This should be like sold at. Whole Foods or something. Absolutely, that's the goal. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there you have it. Oh my God, Your look at that. blood orange buck. Oh, that's gorgeous. Cheers. Is See that for me? Yes. Are you gonna make, are you gonna join me? I will, okay. I will make okay. another. Cheers to life in La La Land. Cheers. Or is it Moonlight? Oh. Whichever. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's good.
This is good. Oprah, are you watching? <laughs> it's rapid fire Q and A time with Gras Squad host Heather Storm. Should I be nervous? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. No, no, no. Okay. Easy questions. Right. Easy questions. Vintage Mustang or Maserati? Oh God, that's hard. I'm gonna go vintage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought you would. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta give it to the classics. <laughs> All right. A Batmobile. B, DeLorean from Back to the Future. C, Austin Martin from James Bond. Or D, Kit from Knight Rider. I have to go Batmobile right off the bat, but you didn't even have to say the rest of them, and that's just because I have a running joke that I drive a Batmobile. <laughs> it's because, like, all stealthy and, like, this is my Batmobile as I drive around Los Angeles. So absolutely Batmobile just for that reason. I've seen her car. <laughs> it's sleek. It's sexy. <laughs> You haven't seen me drive, though. (laughs) (laughs) On you landing the gig to host Garage Squad, do you base it on which of these criteria? Okay. A, I'm a hot chick in a man's world. Okay. B, I have brains and no cars. C, I'm a sharp host and can ad-lib at whim. Or D, right time, right place, baby. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you know what I'm going to pick on this, which is C. <laughs> I'm a smart host. I can add limb. And I'm hot. And I'm in a band's world. I'm just going to go with all of all them and wrap are. it all in. <laughs> if you could get under the hood of Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds, who would he be? Which one? Ryan Gosling. And there's no explanation. (laughs) No explanation necessary. Both Canadian, by the way. Are they? Like me. Oh. We're nice people. You are, actually. (laughs) Canadians are nice people. Is that a myth, or do we just think that they're nice? Meryl Streep said, we're nice people. Oh, well, then it must be true. There you go. (laughs) Okay. Heather Storm, when you get angry, are you more a perfect storm, or are you more storm from the X Men? Storm from the X Men. Oh. Don't piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> People who refute climate change are ignorant. I agree. Science is a real thing. You can't. <laughs> it, it is one of the most real things that we have. You can't refute science. Here, here. Okay. <laughs> My polite reaction to people asking me if I'm Heather Graham is no, but thank you. Oh come on! People it is. Don't, people See, don't. Compare you two? Yeah, they do, but I, I, I say thank you because I think that's a great compliment. I, I'm running around as her doppelganger. That's fine. <laughs> I'm telling you, my show is like, I keep getting doppelgangers. It's like the man really? for doppelgangers. I had the Bradley Cooper twins. Yes. You know, and you're like Heather Graham <laughs> kind of thing going on. And- well, it's not a bad thing. I mean, when people, when people see someone that they know that they feel a good feeling towards and then you look similar to them, that's a bonus, right? Jeans or a dress? Jeans. I wore a dress today for you. <laughs> <laughs> My personal mantra or favorite motto is? The significant problems in life cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we are at when we created them. By Albert Einstein. Oh my God, that was heady. <laughs> That's my mantra for life. We have to evolve in order to move forward and make solutions. Science degree, people. <laughs> 